So, Glenn, section one all over and done, one lap, and uh, didn't go quite according to plan. Yeah, no, it was uh, pretty tough. It was uh, 105 k's, and we were stuck behind one car for about 85 kilometres, so yeah, it was pretty tough, but it's probably going to be the same tomorrow. We'll get stuck behind somebody. It's pretty much impossible to pass unless you can get within 200 metres for the push to pass. So, yeah, it's a tough gig at the moment. Yeah, that dust was really quite bad today, and obviously that affects everything. Yeah, look, it was worse than I expected. You know, I mean, we don't want to crash. That's all we did. We spent 85 k's trying not to crash. So uh, we had a few hairy moments where you think you're going down a straight road and we're on the wrong side of the trees and stuff. So, yeah, it sort of makes you regroup and just go, right, we'll just get to the finish. And how was the conditions other than the dust? Was it a, was it a good good track today? Yeah, like off-roading is challenging and that was different, definitely a challenge. There's a lot of soft sand, like tomorrow it'll be really deep rutted. But there's some good fast flowing stuff as well, so it's got a bit of everything. Some narrow gates and yeah, it's, it's real off-road. Now the boys are just working on the, uh, on the car there behind us. They've got, uh, they've got the belt off, is that just a precaution? Yeah, we change the belt each uh, section pretty much. It's, we've never done a belt touch wood and that's our plan to keep doing that. But yeah, the rest of the car is perfect. We, uh, you know, obviously we back off a little bit in the dust, so we preserve the car pretty well for tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be a day of strategy really with the, with the dust. What is the plan? Yeah, just uh, ho hopefully we can maintain a gap. So like a minute apart is fine, but if you're catching on somebody then there's really no chance to catch, uh, to pass them. And then that's a Constantina, the cars behind you get behind you as well. So there's no room for error there. So tomorrow we do uh, three laps. So we do two laps and then they have a 45 minute uh, refuel in between and then one lap, but it all counts as one section. So, and you don't know your times in between. So there's a bit of maths and running around trying to find how everybody else is going. So, but yeah, it's a, tomorrow's a big one. So Dale, a bit of a frustrating day out there with the dust today. I believe I said this morning we'll play the cards we're dealt. Uh, unfortunately, we're dealt a joker, so pff. What do you do? Um, that's just the way it goes in off-road. We've, we've said it before, um, it's frustrating. Um, yeah, basically when you spend the whole time trying not to crash rather than attacking and doing the job that you should be doing, but that is what it is. So we've got three laps tomorrow. Uh, what's that? It's almost 120 k's, I think. Sorry, 320 k's to, to try and make some time up. So um, yeah, we'll see how we go. When there is dust like that, is there anything that you can do to assist or help or you just drive it as you see it? It is, look, we, when we do our siding lap, we try and get our distances as accurate as possible between the corners. Um, so yeah, in places I am counting down the distances to try and help out um, because in that dust, obviously you can't even see the road right in front of you to know how far you've actually traveled. So we, we might have a 250 meter straight. So I'll try and count that down just so that we know as long as you can, you can look out the side sometimes and just see the edges of the road. Um, so yeah, but all your focus goes into the wrong areas. So it's a recipe for disaster. Um, yeah, today we, we managed to get through, so not a, not a complete disaster. And look, your times weren't too bad. In fact, your times look pretty good. No, <laughs> we know how much time we've lost. It is what it is, but as I said, we, we're upbeat. We know what our pace can be. Um, hopefully we get a clean enough run tomorrow. Um, we're sure we can battle back through. So yeah, anyway, smiles.